Hi there, and now is the time to go to AM3 Plus platform. To do that, you have to get one of those processors. And I've got a 95 watt processor, which is AMD FX6300. But I cannot fit it, just the processor in here, because I'm still running on DDR2. I think you can see it somewhere in there. There is a patch DDR2, but or maybe not. Well, it is a DDR2, and that processor is not supporting them. It's only Athlon second generation and Phenom second generation, at least most of them, which they are supporting a DDR2 and DDR3. So you have to get DDR3, and I've got crucial ballistics so if you are out of cash and you can't buy both at the same time uh, both I mean processor and RAM I recommend it to you first change the RAM and then go to processor because well you will be still able to use your computer with that 8 250 or whatever you get it with that DDR3 so that's what is the best to do and now I'm gonna tell you what I'm going to do I'm gonna replace the processor and RAM also I already did I replaced the hard drive now I have a, a normal SATA hard drive it's one terabyte Seagate and also but that's later on I've get myself a cooling system cooler master nothing really special quite cheap about 25 euros and idea of it is to overclock that FX6300 I think I will be able to overclock to 4.5 but we will see how this goes so guys this is the easiest way how to switch your old computer from AM2 or AM2 plus platform to AM3 plus platform without spending all of your money at the same time just slowly month by month you can buy some things add to your computer make it better make it modern i hope i did help you out with this and if you want to see how this processor i mean this processor will uh, perform in the games and what is even more interesting i'm gonna make a battle of this processor with uh, intel i3 uh, 4150 which is similar price to it actually this AMD is about 20 euros cheaper at least in Polish market so this will be interesting so guys stay tuned and hopefully I will see you in the next movies